Daily Development video and today I wanted to talk about the notion of 24-7 hustle. Now, it's a big thing out there at the moment, you know, people like Grant Cardone and uh, Gary Vee, you know, they talk about this principle, they talk about the 24-7 hustle, which is, which is fine, honestly. To each his own is what I'm going to say, but I'm going to give you my opinion on this matter. I don't think that 24-7 hustle is the way to go. I believe a lot more in rituals and habits and being 100% focused, doing what it is you're doing when you're actually doing it. So there are a lot of people that talk about, you know, hey Jimbo, how you doing, man? Um, there are a lot of people that talk about, you know, hustling 24-7 and what they'll actually look at if they don't realize is they'll probably find that what they're really doing is that, yeah, they're hustling 24-7, but really they're actually only productive for maybe one or two or three or four hours. Now, I know that's not the case for all of you here. This is kind of just a general video, so to speak. So I'm going to talk about the, the hustle, the 24-7 hustle concept that's actually out there. Me personally, I don't believe in it. I believe a lot more in balance and a lot more in, in doing a multi multitude of things. Now, I'm not talking about being a jack of all trades. I do believe in specializing, focusing on what it is you're actually doing to achieve what it is that you want to achieve, but I do believe a lot more in habits, in rituals, in schedules, in principles, right? Not necessarily the 24-7 hustle. Now, are there times when you'll need to put that aside, right, and work more hours than you generally do? Yes, absolutely. So I'll give you a little example of how my life actually works. So I have my kids week on, week off, right? So the, the, the weeks that I do have them, it's literally like an extra six hours of work. And I don't mean that in a demonstrative way. I don't mean that in a negative way. I love my kids. You know, I spend time with them every single day if I could. But what I mean by that is that when I've got them, right, that is literally six hours that I have to allocate to them on a daily basis. Two hours in the morning when I sort out their breakfast, lunches, and then get them off to school. And then three hours in the evening from when I actually pick them up and I bring them home. And in, in that particular case, you know, that's just time that I have to spend with them. And I'm more than happy to spend it with them, right? That's just, that's what I do. That's me, right? But then when I don't have them, that means that I have an extra, you know, six hours per day to do something productive. And in those times is when I increase my workload. So what I'm trying to say is it really depends where you're at with, with your life and what it is you're actually doing with your time. So you need to, you need to take into consideration what's going on in your life. You know, your stress levels, your cortisol levels, um, how much sleep are you actually getting and so on and so forth. And you need to balance that with what you're actually doing. So for those of you who are working full-time jobs, you need to take that into consideration. For those of you who are, who are struggling with what it is that you're actually going through, you need to take that into consideration. Yes, there are things that you must get done on a day-to-day -day basis, but there are other days and there are other times that are more available to you that you can actually better utilize your time. You need to construct what it is you're doing around what it is that you're doing. I hope that actually makes some sort of sense. So for me personally, I don't believe in the 24-7 hustle. I really don't because these these you know, these giants out there, people like Gary Vee and, and Grant Cardone that are really, really influencing us and what it is that we're doing, what they fail to talk about a lot of the time is that they have like 100 to 200 people, teams behind them, right, that, that are actually pushing what it is that they're doing, that are really actually... The, the main engine behind what it is they're doing. Yes, they're the face and they're the message and that they, they're the ones getting these things out there, but they fail to tell you that they've got 100 to 200 people behind them that are actually making everything happen as well. Now, am I saying don't aspire to being there? No, absolutely not. It's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is aspire to being there, but understand where you're at at this point in your journey. Understand that, you know, with the time that you have available with your family, with your relationship, with your, you know, having some sort of social life, that you can only allocate, you know, two to three hours to your business every single day. That's fine. Utilize that time to 100% max capacity, right? Because here's something that you may or may not know. The average Fortune 500 company uh, CEO is actually only productive 45 minutes of the day, right? So that means while, while they're hustling, you know, like 12, 14, 16 hour days, the actual activity that they're doing, the actual productivity behind it is literally only 45 minutes, okay? This was an article that was released by the, the uh, Entrepreneur Magazine, and I found that really, really um, gratifying, so to speak, because I'm seeing out, I'm, I'm working, you know, four, six, eight, ten hours a day, and I'm like, man, I'm just not doing enough. I'm not hustling enough, right? I'm not doing this thing 24-7. And I come across that, and I realize, man, I'm actually doing a whole hell of a lot more than they are. But understand again, the teams behind them and the people that are actually driving that message, the people that are really getting all the work done, they're the ones with the, with the message, they're the ones with the voice, they're the ones with the face behind the company, but they're not telling you 
the amount of work that's being done, you know, that the 80, 90% of the work that, you know, takes us time to actually get done is being done by other people. They've got tech people, they've got video people, they've got bloggers, they've got article writers, they've got social media managers and so on and so forth, right? Those are things that we absolutely have to take uh, into consideration. Hey, Sean, how you doing, man? Um, so look, understand that the 24 seven hustle, that there's times that you do need to hustle, right? There are times where like you're, you're like literally sitting on the couch for like three, four hours just being fucking lazy, all right? Straight up. What you need to do is you need to turn that TV off, right? One, two hours a day to kind of chill out. Yeah, that's fine. But like three, four hours, like the average these days is like five hours of TV a day. It's ridiculous. I'm sorry, but it really is. You need to cut that shit down and get some actual work done if you want to achieve what it is that you want to achieve. And it doesn't really matter, right? I'm with this online marketing game. Sure. But you might be about sports. Um, you might be about, uh, I know some people that, that do breakdancing, right? I know some people that are all about their job. That's fine. Whatever it is. Be about that, okay? Stop wasting your damn time watching TV and saying that you're busy or you're tired or you don't have enough time. We've all got enough time. We just don't allocate the right uh, activities to that actual time, right? Remember what I said, 45 minutes of productivity for Fortune 500 CEOs, okay? Put that into perspective. If you just do two hours every day on your business and you actually work on those two hours, you're almost triple the average CEO of a Fortune 500 company. Imagine how much you can achieve if you were to stick to that day in, day out on an ongoing basis, say for 12 months, right? As opposed to going, yeah, man, I'm going to hustle, right? You go to your job, you come home, you do your family, you do your relationship, and then you're up to like 2, 3, 4 a.m., and then you wake up the next day and you're fucked, right? <laughs> and then you're backpedaling, you're trying to catch up the remaining, you know, four, five, six, seven days of the week and you don't end up doing shit, okay? Be smart about what you're doing. Get your hustle on, yes, when you have that spare, that spare time. But understand, sleep is still important, right? Your relationship is still important. Your kids are still important, right? Having some sort of a social life so that you can disconnect from what you're doing is still also important. Life is a balancing act that needs to be applied on an ongoing basis and you need to take into consideration everything that you have involved in your life not just your business. Your business is one part of your life, okay? Take into consideration everything else that's involved and make it all work. Find something that you can do on an ongoing basis. It's like a diet, guys, right? The guy that loses like five kilos in one week doesn't usually end up losing 10 kilos in two weeks. He usually ends up putting on 10 kilos after three or four because it's unsustainable what he's actually doing. It's never a sprint. It's always a marathon, all right? So, Drop this idea of 24-7 hustle from your head and just really focus on what it is that you can do. Focus on the time that you do have, right? And do the best you possibly can with that time available and make that shit happen, all right? So thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. I appreciate you guys. If it makes any sort of sense, give me a thumbs up or share the video. Uh, Jimbo, thank you again for already sharing it, man. I respect the hell out of you too, bro. Uh, much love, take care, and I will talk to you guys again tomorrow.